And thank you so much for joining us. I'm Cheryl Miller. Our first guest is a Richmond-based author whose first novel, The Greatest Discovery, was named Book of the Year by the Virginia College Stories Association. His second novel, The Greatest Choice, was just reissued this year. Whether you're an established writer or aspire to be one, when it comes to getting your work into print, you don't have to wait for a publisher anymore. You can actually do it yourself. Richmond-based author Chris Sorensen joins us to share his experience and some advice on self-publishing. Hi, Chris. Hello. Good morning. Thanks, just to, uh, thanks for coming in this morning. Your first book was written and published 10 years ago, about 10, 11 years ago. Yes. And the second one was just reissued this year. What was the difference between the experience then and the experience now? Oh, just a world of difference. Uh, when I did my first book about 10 years ago, I mean, the technology was still back originally what it was. I mean, it was a hardcover novel. Um, I had to, you know, pay for all of the expenses to get that done from, you know, start to finish, and which you still have to do nowadays, but everything's electronical. Um, and so when I was able to get the paperback done for The Greatest Choice, the cost differential was just uh, so much less. Mm -hmm. um, not only that, but the time frame involved was able, you know, to be cut by exponentially. Um, and the control that you have over your books when you self-publish is, you know, is amazing. Is one of the reasons people decide to self-publish, you know, between self-publishing or traditional publisher, I'd say that's probably one of the biggest reasons people decide to self-publish is the control that they can have over it. When I hear self-publish, I think of what used to be called vanity press, where you paid someone to create your book for you. Yeah. But self-publishing is totally different. Explain exactly what self-publishing is. Vanity publishing exists, and it has a negative connotation to that, especially in the traditional publishing world, is because basically an author or a writer is giving somebody their work and paying them to publish it for it. The term publishing, to me, I mean, basically means who's paying to get the work, who's paying for the printing mm -hmm. is basically what it means. Um, outside of that, the marketing is what is involved. So whether self-publishing, you know, whether you want to look at it as vanity or not, um, it's just able to get your work out there. Vanity publishing nowadays is, is not so much the negative connotation as it used to have because of, I think ebooks have really made a stride in that because, you know, more and more people are buying ebooks by self published authors because they're so much more available now. Uh, back, you know, even seven or eight years ago, when somebody vanity published or self published, it was paperback, it was hardcover, and it was harder to do. Nowadays, it's so much easier to do through Amazon, through places like Smash uh, Words. Um, people are buying more and more self published work, and it's becoming more and more reputable. Uh, for people to do that. I found an interesting statistic that said in 2011 there were more than 211,000 self-published titles and that was almost double that of the year before so writers really just want to get their work out there and e-publishing has become a, a great way to do that yeah. now. This last year alone uh, e-book sales outpaced hardcover you know paper sales um, I, hardcover book sales alone, and it's, it's only going to continue. And that won't mean that, you know, there will always be books to hold and to buy, but people want, you know, uh, finality with their books. You know, paperback sales last year decreased, but hardcover books increased a little bit, and ebook sales just skyrocketed and continue to because people want what they can hold on to. And the ease of use, if you can go on to, again, some of those online places that you can buy ebooks and pay two or three dollars or even four dollars for a book to check it out. You know, word of mouth is the best marketing tool. So if a friend says, hey, you should really check out this book, you know, whatever it might be, you know, you might pause a little bit before spending thirteen, fifteen, twenty dollars on it. But if it's only two or three dollars on Amazon or one of the other sites, you're willing to go check it out. Um, well, as a self-publisher, not only are you a writer who wants to get your words out there and people read it, but you have to also be a really good marketer. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And I think that's the key that I, I try to share with other writers is that whatever you, somebody wa wants to read what you have written. Now, it might not be a million people, but if you've got something that you've written, especially with bloggings, really big too, it's another way to, to get your, word, your work out there. Writing is, you know, it sound, might sound cliche, but for any writer, the first thing you need to do is write, is get your work written and then find somebody, if you're not technologically savvy enough, find somebody who can help you get it published, whether it's through an ebook format or through a tra you know, traditional paper format, and get it out there. It, nowadays, you can test what you've written, and people will tell you whether they like it or oh, not. Yeah. <laughs> and if they do, and then you have a market, the turnaround time doesn't have to be years now. The turnaround time can be months and people will read what you have written and that's the most satisfying thing to an author and then when you've found that market it can continue to grow and if you want to do it full time if you want to do it for a living then it's out there but if you just want to do it to share with family or friends or loved ones 
it's out there too and you get to leave a piece of yourself uh, out there for people to read about. It's, it's, it's really neat. It's really wonderful. Some good information. I know you work as a high school counselor locally, so if you want to give a shout out yeah, to your shout students. shout out to everybody at Manchester High School. Right now it's the uh, fourth period. And <laughs> I'm not there, but I'll be there in a little bit. So. All right. Well, Chris Sorensen, thank you so much for joining <laughs> us today. Yeah. And if you'd like to talk to Chris and nearly 20 other local authors at the Celebrate with a Book event, that's tomorrow from 10 to 2 at Regency Square Mall. They'll be on the first floor just outside the J.C. Penney store. So you can get more information on self-publishing and talking about their greatest novels.